Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the new video tutorial of Magento 2 Event Manager. Using this extension in your web shop, you'll allow you to add multiple number of events as per your need and then you can add these events into the event groups so as to get them displayed in a beautiful calendar on the front end. In other words, you can say uh, that Definitely, uh, it's a tool to create and manage events efficiently and um, and a beautiful calendar with the marked events will be shown in the front end. So let's go ahead and let's check uh, the backend configuration of this module. After the installation of this module, you need to go to the stores configuration and under configuration under web pool uh, menu, you'll uh, see the group event menu option. And uh, here you can enable or disable the status of the group event from here. So if you disable, then the model won't be working out. So go ahead and uh, enable this app first and save the configuration. After the configuration has been saved, uh, uh, you'll find the menu option with the name Event Manager on the admin side panel here. On the bottom left hand side you can see the event manager being displayed up just click the event manager and you'll find two sub menu options under it one the first one is the event and the other one is the event group so let's go ahead and let's see uh, how to add events under the event uh, menu option after clicking the event uh, menu option you'll see the add new event page uh, for the first time users definitely uh, this uh, this table here would be empty so uh, uh, to add a new event uh, you'll click the add new event button on the top right hand side here after clicking the add new button the new event form is populated as you can see it's coming up so uh, here we'll uh, enter the event information that's the event name the date of the event the content of the event and we'll set the event as enable or disable as per the need so let's go ahead and let's fill in some of the information here and let's see how the event is uh, created in the first place so let's uh, name this event as musical renunciation let's select the date as uh, friday the 12th and let's put in some uh, text or you can use images with links uh, so that when the customers click on the link, links they are taken to the appropriate uh, uh, pages uh, like the registration page or something like that so uh, for, for now I'm going to use uh, the text only so let's uh, get it going and uh, come join us for a nice time with limited number of bookings come join us for a nice time with a limited number of bookings and uh, set the event status as enable and just click the save button on the top right hand side to save this event after the event has been saved uh, you can see that the event data has successfully been saved uh, uh, you'll find the event in this table in the last here you can see we have added the musical renunciation come join us that the description uh, uh, or the event content here and uh, with the date the event date here is also displayed up uh, you can uh, manually uh, select this uh, uh, this event here and you can uh, if you want to edit it you can edit it or if you want to delete it you can delete the event as well for a multiple selection you can multi select uh, different events and you can delete them or you can change their status as enable or disable so that was all uh, for adding an event now let's get back to the event manager menu option on the admin sidebar then let's click it up and let's go to the event group section so after creating the events uh, we need to create an event group first and we'll add the already created events into this event group and when we enable this event group definitely it would be it would appear on the front end uh, uh, on a beautiful calendar 
So uh, let's see how we'll do that. Uh, uh, on the group event page, you have an add new group event uh, button on the top right hand side. Just click that up. After clicking that up, you'll see uh, the new group event page will appear. Here we'll uh, find a number of options uh, for the for the group event. So uh, like the title of the group event, the name of the group event, the code of the group event, uh, the stored wave, uh, which stored wave uh, you like to show the, uh, the calendar on. So we'll uh, select the default stored wave here. So let's go ahead and let's uh, enter the group event title. We'll set it as musical and uh, the code is this, uh, the name is musical event and the code is the same. Uh, uh, yep and uh, now from under the events option here uh, we have a drop down here for uh, making the selection of uh, various events that we that we have already created so from the drop down click on the drop down search uh, check uh, the one the events that you want to select select those up and click the done button now on which pages would you like to show uh, your calendar so here you can uh, click the down down button we have already created an events page so we'll select that events page to display this uh, um, event group calendar click the down button and uh, lastly uh, just select the group event status as enable and click the save button to save the changes after the group event is saved here you can see uh, the success message here and here you can see the group event title the group name event name the group event code uh, the events that we have added to this group uh, where we are showing uh, this group events on and the store uh, selection that we have made and uh, the status of this uh, group event here also you can edit on uh, delete and you can make multiple number of selections and make a delete or you can change the status of these uh, grouped events from here now uh, after doing these uh, now uh, let's go ahead and let's check the front end and let's see how the events appear on the front end that was all for the settings and the configuration of the events and uh, let's get going right now on the, on the front end uh, you'll see this uh, beautiful calendar here uh, that's displaying all the events uh, that are available with the shop owner for the current month so uh, the customers can even uh, select uh, uh, can choose an uh, event category to display the events so for example we had created a musical uh, um, uh, event group there so we'll select the musical one and let's see what the events come up so uh, for the musical we have two two ongoing events so one is on the 12th and one is on the 19th so let's uh, click on the 12th okay come join us for a nice time so uh, that's the event for the 12th and uh, for the second event as well so you can add uh, different images and other stuff here to make it much more uh, um, uh, appropriate there uh, the customers can also select all to display all the events uh, that are available for the month there uh, for the current month there like uh, there's a there's something on the 5th uh, there's something on the 26th there so uh, and yeah that's all uh, for this uh, video tutorial that's how to even uh, create uh, that's that was all about how to create events and uh, add the events into the event groups and uh, get them displayed on the front end using a very beautiful calendar there so uh, that was all uh, for this video tutorial hope you uh, hope you have liked it if you have any other query or suggestion regarding the plugin you can uh, always uh, email us uh, at support at the rate of uh, webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.ubidesk.com once again thanks for watching the video stay tuned for more updates